What's up guys, this is the Riverman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to round off our last time, we generally had some more shenanigans with the Swedish in Sweden. Um, this army here, which was pillaging my regions, has now been neutered to the fact it's almost not a threat anymore. Norway's under siege. And yeah, things are going rather well. I'm bringing an army back here to garrison, or to, to stay near Archangel, until I can recruit a proper garrison from Amsterdam. Um, because ultimately I'm suffering from not having me not being able to recruit troops so we need to spend a bit more time and a bit more effort to actually get some proper support over there where the hell is regular line infantry there it is couldn't find it for a minute there we go and then let's recruit a that's a Spanish dog recruit sloop so I can sail up there quite easy and drop them off once I drop that garrison off then this army will be free to plunder the rural Russian area I've got this army this uh, unit of cavalry ready to scout Moscow and my army my main army is still making excellent time towards the Russian capital and I also have armies heading towards the Indian region oh have you Okay, so you all are all going to be recruited. To be honest, I might just recruit another one. Just so one of my infants. Yeah. So I'll have three armies ready to go. One will hit Karnataka, one will hit Calcutta, one will hit Katak. And ultimately, what I should be doing is actually getting ready to. Uh, send some ships over there to engage the navy so I have freedom of manoeuvre which to be honest looks like what well, this has with Louis Alexandre de Choiseul with under uh, manning the Orient Lorient so let's take you get rid of Fendant this is Orient so let's take this solid navy ship moved India to get ready to conduct naval operations Let's see what second, so let's get Ocean is a good first rate. It's got four first rates, a heavy first rate. Five third rates. Good. Yeah, recruitment's going well. Marines have been dealt with the Swedes. I've got the, the Royal Crassier Guards did an excellent job chasing down that Swedish army. But I think I'm gonna end turn. And things are going rather well. So I've got three armies moving on. Yeah, three armies moving on into India. I'm doing well in Sweden. My Russian strategy is all in hand. Um, just got to be a bit cognizant of the fact that eventually... Okay, I'm not going to pay you 44 grand to trade with you. Ooh, the Genoans... What? Oh, there was an Ottoman army to the east. Didn't see that. See, there could be some sense in taking out the French now before I start getting too engulfed in Indian war. At the same time, all of my campaigns I've kind of been leaving India alone until at the end. So I'd actually like to to be involved a bit earlier on. That and ultimately, um, I'm probably not going to be... Well, I've got enough forces as I, as I want to commit in Russia at the minute to there go into supporting in that. region <gasps> that has not yet been developed. Okay, can Pensacola. So let's get you a trade port. Oh, that was you. Um, trade gain. We've got a Catholic missionary. So I'm going to want to put you in. Well, Brandenburg's already Catholic. Maybe I should, might want to run you up here to Norway. Okay, free trade has been researched. To be honest, I'm at that stage now. I may as well let my, my university just have at it. There's only so much. There's only so much um, actual optimization I can do. Yeah, keep my military school, my military units, military things, military buildings, upgrading in these regions in case a war flares up. Engineer school in Pennsylvania, and that's you completely upgraded. Cool. So let's go up to 
Europe. So, destroy that, the remnants of that army. You, push up to the Finnish border. Be a threat, be aggressive, and be agile. And let's upgrade or, or repair all of my infrastructure in Sweden. Cool. Yeah, let's upgrade the port, why not? Doesn't earn your money directly, like it's not connected to anything for trade, but it's good for the region. Oh wow. Oh I forgot because it's free trade. This is how This is how you go broke really quickly, is upgrading all of your ports to free trade companies. It's probably a smart way to go about it, but I'm not really that bothered about it. Good to leave fled. This soon next turn you'll be ready to set up a garrison and this army hell, I might even send them west to Petrovskaya. No, I won't have loads of our armies landing on Finland. They they will head east. To be honest, maybe now they've managed to to uh, disrupt me for a turn, but it'll take them a couple of turns to get back there. Good. Move on to hit Comey. Public servant dies. Two public servant dies. Okay, so how does that impact me? Okay, I'm still pretty good. Got a really good monarch. Got loads of really good ministers. I think I'm fine. Let's hit N10. Okay. So Moscow got a chance to have some good defences, to have some mortars in, get some elite infantry. The options are there. Yeah. The Spanish trying to steal some of their technology. Trying to steal some of my technology. But let's check. Hmm. Definitely going to go for Moscow. I'd be silly to not go for it at least. Ah, so you get a good look at me first, look at their garrisons. You've got some Dragoons, some Marines, Elite Infantry, uh, Ring Wraiths. Withdraw. So cavalry scouting isn't something I've actually on the campaign map. It's just a cavalry unit, they can't catch up with me unless it's an all cavalry unit they're chasing me with. It's quite an interesting idea. Who? Why have I? Why has no one else thought of cavalry scouting yet? This is a brilliant idea. Who's why has no one ever discussed this before? <laughs> These are the Genoans have been they've been the, the star performers of this campaign, I think. Oh. Yeah, the most interesting faction this campaign. There is a port in this region that has machine. not yet been developed. Yep, see, yeah, everything's just going well, although I probably want something like Heidelberg to do top gallants, Bordeaux to do machine rifling, and Heidelberg to just secular humanism? Fleet arrives, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So let's be strategic about this, sort of. You sail up here. Have a look. Fairly standard unit. You maintain siege. You sail up to here. Have a little peek. Okay. Well, they'll just take you then. Oh wow, those are troops, all right. Oh, that's another stack too. Okay, so instead of, mm, okay, that's what I'm. Uh, uh. 
there a navy here? No, there isn't. So I might... Hmm, what's the best thing to do? Probably to do you here. Deploy them here to support this army in our cot. It's not great because they have no mortars and no cavalry. If I get upwind, or upstream, I suppose. Maison, Maison de Roy. Let's get two of them, two Republican Guard, three Sepoys, because they're an Indian army, and then two East India Company infantry. Cool. And then let's take this navy. Just blockade it. Because <laughs> now their entire infrastructure is going to just spin around and try to secure their territory. So we need to be ready for that. Let's start grading. So let's go back, okay, before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's take go back to here. You are not doing anything. You are going to repair. You can leave, can't you? Damn right you can. And you can recruit call units. Sweet. How many Swiss line can I have? Well, I will eventually run out. But you, you keep working on that. You... Hell, head towards Kiev. Kiev's got nothing going for it. You march on Moscow. The cavalry stay nearby. Let's see, they are recruiting, which is good. Ceylon, Netherlands, Biscay. Yeah, there's a new, new navy coming to town, which is lovely. And let's probably get five units. Oh, God alive. Okay. Two units of Royal Sudoir and three units of Line Infantry. Cool. Yeah, one turn till walls. Ooh, and I can't get the Arc de Triomphe. Well, I'll need to get that next turn. And all my armies are still on the move. So the most fascinating thing for me is to see how the Indians respond. Because what the Indians usually do is they will just send stack after stack after stack after stack after you. So you need to win a few good battles to get a bit of a breathing space. It's almost... it's The intensity drops off. Like, if you can withstand the initial storm, it will go down, but you can't get too complacent when it comes to managing your your infantry, or managing your armies, I should say. Uh, withdraw. Ah. No. Oh, no. The Moscow garrison chases after a lone... Ah! So they've come from somewhere. Okay, so now's the time to see if I can how rapidly I can redeploy my troops. Because I think it... Oh, God. They're really going for that region. They're bringing an Archangel back. And they can have it. Um, I'll just make them pay for it. Good. Do some raiding first. Give me time to rebuild. Oh, God, Genoa. Genoa is the new Turkey now, effectively. The new Ottoman Empire, I should, I should say. 
There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of... Okay, so what's the best way to play this? Oui? En avant! Marchez! Missionary in Brandenburg. No, don't go to Hanover. That's a waste of time. Run all the way to Finland and do some converting in Sweden. That's a good idea, I think. Happy builder. Monsieur. Oh, the Royal Sudwar have come from somewhere else, haven't they? They've come from over here. There they are. Okay. So let's take... This militia you get out. To be honest, I will probably want to take I probably want to take these guys as well. Next turn. I don't know how long it would take them to get there. They could probably get there in next turn. Which, if they do, to be honest, they deserve it. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change direction now. Why change direction? Why get out, Komi? So then, let's craft workshop. Metal bridge, I'm coming for you, Kazan, and Ufa. Bang, bang, bang. This is going to be unfortunate, because so I'm going to go this way, and then that. So there's some troops coming behind me, but that's... God, I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> I don't want to wait to get troops. Like, I don't want them to get their garrison back. And at the same time, I don't want to attack, because mortars suck. I could probably, maybe I can plink at them with my howitzers. To be honest, I have to deploy conservative anyway to, to make a breach. So... Okay, so let's just deploy a big old battery of guns. Beautiful. you pretty much back here to face it directly backwards and you're going to go into the breaches actually in that case I probably want to do this then facing directly backwards and have you guys you guys hide in a forest like this Good. Cavalry here. All of my mortars hit that wall. You can you hit the You can, but how effective you'll be I don't know. You might be better off actually. Maybe better off actually kill some of the troops so I can ingress faster. I know the more time I know the longer I leave them the more time it gets them to get reinforcements in. like is a really quick and easy capture of the gate so that I can run a cavalry unit in and mop up the mortars. 
Aha! An artillery unit. Heavy horse guard artillery at that. Just keep firing. They seem to be determined to hold on to this section of the wall. Despite it clearly being a target to destroy. watch this wall collapse. Next volley should do it. Or at least I hope so. Not quite, it would seem. Still, that's a lovely impact against their artillery. A lot of wavering, so let's move up. Let's get you in Marines. I guess the force I'm waiting to come in behind me is not going to come in, so. Let's keep one. Keep unit of militia behind. There you go, they're firing now. So where are they shooting? Yeah, straight into my infantry. God, I think that's already got 30 guys are dead. There you go. Explosive rounds coming in. More explosive rounds. But you know what I mean. into the mix. Yep, these are going to be pretty devastating. But I want to capture, I need to capture a gate. Too many targets to shoot at. Go on, provide fire. Scale the walls. We need to make inroads.
good, good, good. So it's gonna be a bit of a bit of a rush. through the gap. That's fair enough, they are wavering. They are fairly unsupported. Until these two guys come in. Have at him. Oh, they've picked my pressure pressure Jaegers. Okay, so let's get into the actual fight before they make too many of my units out here route. Cuff, 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 cuff. Ignore them. Ignore them. Go after them. Cavalry straight into the breach. Run, run, run. You kill the mortar, this mortar at least. Chased on that mortar. Try and engage that one militiaman. You run into that line of infantry. Oh wow, this could hurt. This could hurt everyone. You form square, but you might be able to break it. We've won them by sheer weight of numbers, hopefully. Keep holding the square. That one's routing just how I want them to. Plenty of troops everywhere, but trouble is, can they kill my cavalry fast enough? I doubt it. My marines are now entering the fray. 
Should be these guys, my guard Swiss are bugged outside, so they're not going to be that useful anymore. Pack your muskets, marines. Get down the walls. Yep, my gendarmerie de France are holding the line enough. Oh, your guard musketeers do not have the power to knock them out as they stoically stand here and take the fortress. Take Moscow, no less. This isn't some dog and pony fort in the middle of nowhere. This is goddamn Moscow. Yeesh. Had a proper garrison, but these things happen. They go three to one ratio. Chop, chop. And we have secured Moscow. Moscow. And they are going to hate us. But let's fix everything we can. Get replenishing. And hold. Because they are going to be angry. If anything, I might have to redirect you guys up to support Moscow. <laughs> Because right now, they've not really got much of a chance. So where's your university? There it is. It's only a classical university. Do you have two? Seminary. Well, I'll demolish you as well. No, the clamour for reform is low. So what I want to do is just start spamming... some garrison guards because we are a garrison at least because they'll take a turn but hopefully they'll take a turn to uh, reorganize to try to figure out what the hell has just happened to them um but yes anyway looking at the timer i think it's the end of this part so i gotta go to the gym so radio thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed hope you enjoyed the siege of moscow and i've I, yeah i think we seem to be getting a bit, be bit better at fighting them for some reason my pc's not been too bad when it comes to defeating them to um to fighting them sorry but yes hopefully hopefully you guys have enjoyed thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time